Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are from group 2. So now we are going to present about our case study titled The Historical Outbreak of Smallpox. Okay, now let's meet the members of our group. The first one is Ain Farzina binti Abdullah, second Nur Aina Rashida binti Muhammad Nordin, third Nur Aisha Naja binti Taha, and the last one is Nurin Ayuni binti Effendi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurin Ayuni binti Effendi and my student ID is 2020 Today I will describe my contribution to this presentation, which is the smallpox introduction. Smallpox, also known as a variola, variola major, is a terrible disease with a significant transmission and case fatality rates. Variola, a huge and complex virus from the arthropod virus family that only infect people. This illness resembling smallpox that has been documented among numerous human tribes during past 3,000 years. Smallpox, which may kill up to 30% of the victims, used to be one of the worst illness in the world. Despite having terrible physical deformities and being blind, those who survived were immune to future illness for the rest of their life. So this concludes the brief of the introduction to the smallpox disease. Okay, the history of smallpox. The origin starts when the finding of smallpox narrations on Egyptian mummies suggests that the smallpox has existed for at least 3,000 years. The earliest writing description of a disease like smallpox appeared in China in the 4th century and in Asia Minor in the 10th century. There are two early control efforts that have been taken, which are the variolation and the vaccination. The first one was variolation, a process named after the virus that caused smallpox, which is variola virus. During variolation, people had never had smallpox, were exposed to material from smallpox source, by scratching the material into their arm or inhaling through the nose. The second one is vaccination. The basis for vaccination began in 1796 when the English doctor Edward Jenner noticed that the milk bags who had gotten cowpox were protected from the smallpox. The three last cases of the smallpox, the first one is in late seven, 1975. The three-year-old Rahima Banu from Bangladesh was the last person in the world to have naturally acquired variolar major. She was isolated at home with house cut for 24 hours a day until she was no longer of infection. Second, Ali Maumali was the last person to have naturally acquired smallpox caused by variola minor. On October 12, 1977, he wrote with two smallpox patients in a vehicle from the hospital to the local smallpox office. The third one is the Janet Beck Parker was the last person to die of smallpox, which was on 11 September 1978. She worked one floor above the medical microbiology department where the staff and students conducted smallpox research. These are some of the highlights of the history and the six history increased trade with China and Korea brings smallpox to Japan on 11th century, created further spread, spread smallpox in Europe and on 18th century, the explorers from Great Britain bring smallpox to Australia. Next is the symptoms of smallpox. Smallpox have a few symptoms such as fatigue, fever, back pain, discomfort, vomiting, and headache. How smallpox spreads? Okay, as we know, smallpox is come from variolar virus that evolved from African rodent virus. The virus can be transmitted directly from person to person. The virus also requires fairly prolonged face to face contact. And also, cough and sneeze is one of the causes of smallpox. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Narayana Rashida Bidi Mamardin. So I'm going to continue with the last part which is the conclusion. So the variola virus is a virus that can cause smallpox and exclusively causes disease in humans. Smallpox is an infectious, deforming and sometimes fatal illness that has plagued humans for thousands of years. Variola virus is an essential virus to research because of its distinctive characteristics which help us to understand more about infectious disorders. There is however no cure or therapy for smallpox. Nevertheless, while a vaccine can prevent smallpox, the risk of adverse effect from the vaccine is too great to justify routine immunization for persons at low risk of exposure to the smallpox virus. In brief, Smallpox is a dangerous disease because it is spread through the air. 
Airborne disease rapidly spread. There is currently no evidence of naturally smallpox transmission anywhere in the world. Even the global vaccination effort eradicates smallpox disease decades ago, even a single verified case of smallpox today would be considered an emergency. So, this is all of the references that we use for the presentation. And that's all from us. Thank you very much for listening.